What is up you guys? Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. To all my regular watchers out there, my creative side is clashing with my YouTuber side right now. So I need to make this video because I know there will be at least 10 people out there that are gonna look for a tutorial on how to make those acrylic quicksand plate thingies. And I need to make this video because there is no full length video about this. So if you came to this tutorial, it's probably because you wanna create one of those quicksand projects and you've seen a bunch of them on TikTok or on Reels and you're like, hey, I wanna try that. How do you do that? It's actually really simple, but not at the same time. So props to the creators because I experienced firsthand how you make one and it's freaking hard. I'm gonna keep it really short and concise because it is gonna be quite a long video. You're gonna watch me do the whole process from A to Z. I did five plates in total I found some others didn't as much but you know I chopped it up a little bit because it's gonna be a very long video otherwise so I decided to do like relatively different characters so that I would get different color backgrounds and stuff you know diff use different glitters basically Denji, Levi, Oikawa, Tangerine and if you recognize this one no you don't what a mix huh <laughs> the acrylic plates honestly i only ever found on aliexpress i'm sure they're probably on timu as well and alibaba or something like that but aliexpress all right you will get the cheapest ones from aliexpress be careful with the sizing mine came out a little bit smaller than i would have liked but i ordered new ones and they're gonna be bigger so you know just so you know advice number one when you print out the images that you want to stick on to the acrylic plates it has to be on photography glossy paper it cannot be on regular printing paper because the resin will seep through and it will look like garbage don't worry about the back being glossy but the front definitely has to be glossy paper so this was my very first time trying everything out so it was very much a trial and error you will see me make mistakes a lot and you know it's very very messy i cut out a bunch of stuff but the resin gets everywhere i'm changing between a tiny uv lens lamp and a big uv lamp and it just it was a whole mess but by the third one which happened to be a levi one i got a little bit better and then i had switched to the next day and i got worse again i forgot everything basically that i did the day before when you get your acrylic plates there's gonna be plastic films on both sides of each piece you need to take that off if you don't it's just gonna look really weird and matte Once you add the glitter, make sure to fill it up with baby oil specifically, not water, 
baby oil. If you want that slow moving effect, you definitely need something a little bit thicker. So opt for either Johnson's Baby, Nivea, whatever you have that's cheap. Another advice I can give you is to not overpower with glitter. Every tutorial I've seen on these on TikTok, people really like lay on the glitter and use like 50 different kinds. I try to do that and quite honestly, it gets a little bit overwhelming. Use minimal glitter to be honest, even if it's a little bit, it's not, it has that quick sand effect. Also, small glitter preferably than chunkier one. I only had chunky on me and like two, three types that were like regular, really small, fine glitter. That tends to work better. The chunky one, eh, not really. Something I learned a little bit late maybe was that you really cannot be sparing with the resin. Don't try to save it up. Don't try to like clean it up or something, you know? So my biggest mistake here was that I kept seeing people use a torch to kind of get rid of the bubbles when you lay down the resin before you stick on the final plate. So I had a lot of problems with the final plate that I placed because so many bubbles formed every time. And once you lay it on, it's on there it's stuck forever you cannot change it but once i also torched the top layer of resin before i put down the plate it dried the resin quicker which did not help i still haven't properly figured out what the trick is i think is to put a lot of resin and do this basically very slowly very slowly don't lay it flat because that would just create bubbles but even this did for me, so I'm really not sure what advice I can give you. It's very much like a you learn it once and then you try to remember that how you did it. There's very, very, very little room for it, mistakes and errors. Right before you sit down the final plate, make sure to put all your background stickers and little stickers. Stickers are really the key for this because it makes the piece really be cute and original and i bought some extra detailing for the corners a little chain as well which i added bows whatever you want like any 3d piece looks really really fun and cool and kind of makes up for the fact that maybe you have bubbles in I also made like these bead bracelet type things and I stuck it on the side of the Denji one and I created like a little, it looks like a little handbag to be honest. Maybe you have like a nail sticking out or something on a wall. You can just hang it up and it looks really cute. Work with what you have, work with ideas, brainstorm. There's different types of the acrylic plates as well. It doesn't necessarily have to be just like a regular rectangle. There are circles, ones in the form of like a movie ticket or an actual like hourglass. You can play around with the materials all you want and create something really, really beautiful. I really hope 
hope this tutorial was helpful. If anyone has any questions, let me know in the comments. I'll try to answer. And maybe I'll make another video once I've gotten better at it as well because I tried my best with this one, but I wanted to be quick and make a tutorial because this is like the thing that I keep seeing recently and it's just not something that's you know, has a full length tutorial on YouTube. I hope you enjoyed this video, you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.